Hello, my name is William Salisbury with Keystone Engineering. Today we're going to go over how to set up a new isogen style, or connect to one that's existing. As you can see on my screen, we're going to go ahead and go to the Windows computer, or you can go to your uh, file explorer, go to your C drive, and if you do not have one established, you need to create an isometrics folder on the very root of your C drive. So as you see, it's I-S-O-M-E-T-R-I-C-S. All capital, let's keep it consistent. Makes it a lot easier if you just have that folder starting off. Okay. After you've checked and verified that that's on your system, you're going to go to your Windows Start button. Go down to your CADWorks for the install year that you're currently running. Um, in this case, I'm running 2016. Under the 2016 folder, you'll have an iConfigure button. Go ahead and click that. Okay. That starts up the Smart Plant. I configure. Okay. From here, we're going to connect to an existing Isogen database. So, in this case, we have one established on our W drive. You go to my computer, W drive, and then CADWorks. I'm sorry, Isogen. CADWorks Isogen used to be our old format. Now we're just going straight to Isogen. So, under Isogen, you should have one established already. Let's say that you're working for Kinder Morgan. You click on the client name, or the client abbreviated name, like in this case it's KFG. <clears throat> After you click on that, you click OK. You don't want to go any further and any deeper. Just stop at the client level. So any ISO style developed for that client should not be available. Okay. So after you do that, you will have it pop up here. It will show the job numbers that are available and the styles that are developed under that job. Um, uh, to go an extra step, you can click here, click on one of the individual styles in this that exports the style just to make sure it's saved properly. Um, other than that, you should be good to go. Thanks.